Can I tell you a secret? I'm working with an Avenger. Can I speak to your manager? Didn't realize you were supposed to bring guns. It's almost Christmas. I can't go home until I fix this. Should we be worried? I'll be home for Christmas. I promise. <sighs> Sorry, Santa. We're out of regular arrows. Oh my God, trick arrows? We're saving the holidays. Marvel Studios Hawkeye. First two episodes streaming November 24th, only on Disney+. Plus. Welcome back, everyone. This will be my new Marvel Hawkeye trailer video. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs and a couple new characters that they feature in this, including Marvel's version of the Joker, whose name is Clown, as you could probably assume. We also have some more Marvel Daredevil Easter eggs, so I'll explain those too. If you're brand new to the channel, I'll be doing videos for all the episodes. And remember, they're dropping the first two episodes on the first day. But usually episodes are weekly. It's just they have a bit of a log jam in terms of big Marvel Disney Plus content. And they want to be able to drop that Mandalorian Book of Boba Fett spinoff series before the end of the year. It just means you get more content faster. Usually people are happy about that. A lot of you have noticed during the trailers that Hawkeye is wearing his hearing aids. Jeremy Renner did confirm that during the events of this series, Hawkeye is slowly losing his hearing. Now, he's not deaf or anything like that, but at this point in the timeline after Avengers Endgame, he's slowly been losing his hearing, so they're just being more accurate to that. It's possible that he was losing his hearing before this, and they just decided not to deal with that during Avengers Endgame. Eventually, during the Hawkeye story that they're basing this on, he also does kind of go deaf in one ear after one of the villains stabs him in the ear, as you would probably go deaf in an ear after somebody stabbed you. So I think what they're going to do during the series is they'll just use that as a big plot point. Like there'll be some big fight that he has or some situation that he has to get out of where he won't have his hearing aids and he'll just have to call an audible and learn to fight better without his hearing. There's a brand new scene of Haley Steinfeld's Kate Bishop in the elevator of her building just bragging to the old man about working with Hawkeye. I'm working with an Avenger. Going to tell you a little bit of a secret there. Like a really funny twist on the Hail Hydra Captain America whisper. Oh, and by the way, I'm working with the Avengers. There is a minor plot point during the Matt Fraction comic book story that they're basing this on involving an old man from their building. This could wind up being that guy. Something unfortunate winds up happening to somebody in their building. They have that same scene of them in the ice rink at Rockefeller Center fighting the tracksuit mafia right before Christmas in their full comic book costumes. They've been releasing promo art of him in the purple costumes. Hawkeye has had a bunch of different comic book costumes. This is just based on the one from the more modern comics. Kate Bishop's costume also meant to be her comic book costume. The bow that she's using is also way more hardcore, so I'm assuming that Hawkeye probably winds up giving her some of her gear. This is the same scene of them crashing the mafia auction, this scene of the black tie banquet in Midtown somewhere in a super swanky restaurant with a bunch of mob members, including Kate Bishop's mother. You see them get dressed up and walk in like they're going to infiltrate, like Kate Bishop is also wearing a black tie suit. You don't see him during any of this footage, but they also feature another deep cut Hawkeye villain from the classic comics called Swordsman during this. And it seems like he's working with Eleanor Bishop, Kate Bishop's mother. And that'll explain her association with all these hitmen, these classic Hawkeye villains, and the Marvel Daredevil characters from the Netflix series. Because of all those Kingpin reports, it's all about the mob in New York City, so of course Kingpin would be involved with that. That also gets into what's going on with the Maya Lopez Echo character, also a classic Daredevil character from the comics. I'll talk about her in a second too, but like they have a brand new version of that scene where Hawkeye lets himself get captured by the tracksuit mafia, like he's just kind of sitting there like it's no big deal. Kate Bishop comes crashing through to save him all awkward. I didn't realize we were supposed to bring guns. Then this scene of Maya Lopez's Echo in the Clown, Marvel's Joker character, like I said earlier, is happening in a completely different part of the episode, or a different episode entirely. I've already talked a lot about the Echo character, so she's basically a mercenary working for Kingpin, who killed her father, then raised her as his own daughter, turning her into this really badass assassin, then using her to go after all of his enemies, including mostly Daredevil. She is a deaf character, like I said, Hawkeye is going deaf during the series, so that's going to be a big plot point. But whereas Hawkeye is slowly going deaf, she's been deaf for pretty much her whole life. So she's already acclimated to that style of fighting. And one of her big abilities is echoing other people's moves, thus the name Echo. It's a very Taskmaster-like ability where she's able to copy people's moves on the fly. 
The funny thing with the clown characters, obviously we have to talk about this whole Joker parody because he was created by Matt Fraction during the run that they're basing the series on. I totally cannot pronounce what his actual name is, like the clown is just what people call him inside the Marvel Universe. But clearly Matt Fraction created him as a parody of the Joker, so he's not really meant to be the Joker. He just looks a lot like the Joker and he's a bit crazy like the Joker. But he's someone who came to America with his family as part of a circus, so like he grew up in the circus, thus the whole clown moniker. His family was killed, his best friend was killed, and that sort of drove him to become a mercenary. Later what happens is he winds up working for Kingpin and then the tracksuit mafia winds up hiring him to kill Hawkeye after Hawkeye just basically runs them all over town kicking their asses, which is basically what's happening during the Hawkeye series here in the episodes. This is actually very similar to the plot of the Batman Dark Knight movie where you have the mob trying to fight Batman being completely unable to do so, so they wind up hiring somebody even worse, the Joker. That's basically what happens with the tracksuit mafia during the Hawkeye series. It's, it's gone. He's not wearing his makeup here, but this is what he looks like with his full makeup on. So as you can see, obviously he looks like he's got clown makeup on, kind of like the Joker, but much more like an actual clown than the Joker looks like. So if you hear people talk about Marvel's Joker, that's what they're talking about. I'm sure there will be all kinds of questions about this when the series happens for people who never read the comic book and aren't familiar with the character like, wait a minute, are they allowed to do the Joker? I've already talked about all the Kingpin cameo scene news. There have been reports that he's going to show up a little bit in some of the later episodes, but not be a really huge character. And I know there's been rumors about them changing the look of the character, like making him fatter to look more like comic book Kingpin. I don't know anything about that. Those are just rumors. But there's this whole thread about the idea of Kevin Feige slowly reintroducing the Marvel Daredevil Netflix characters through some of these other series before they eventually do some big time Daredevil stuff in the MCU. Like a little bit of Kingpin during the Hawkeye series, teasing him, then Matt Murdock, Daredevil, and Kingpin in some of the other Daredevil characters inside the Echo spinoff series episodes, and then maybe a little bit more Daredevil during the She-Hulk series. There was a report about Daredevil also showing up during She-Hulk because they're both lawyers. But I'm not expecting them to show Kingpin in any of these trailers. It feels like if he were going to show up on the series, they would hide that till the actual episode happens, just so it's a much bigger WTF reveal. Like, holy crap, they're actually doing the thing. All of this footage of them going around Central Park LARPing and doing this play acting fighting is probably part of a stakeout that they're on. If you notice here, it also looks like one of them is wearing a Ronin Halloween costume. And then there's a new scene with Haley Steinfeld's Kate Bishop talking to Lucky the Pizza Dog. He's off of frame. For some reason, there isn't a whole lot of Lucky the Pizza Dog in this trailer footage. But they're in the apartment and there's actually a really big deep cut Avengers Easter egg in the background on this poster here. So the movie poster is not a poster for a movie in real life. It's a poster for a fake movie inside the MCU, but that references a big comic book Avengers event. Creature from the Black Galaxy is a reference to Creature from the Black Lagoon, an actual movie. The Black Galaxy is this really dangerous galaxy inside the Marvel 616 universe. It's the place where Ego the Living Planet came from. But Moira Brandon was an actress inside the 616 universe who moved from Hollywood to Chicago and the estate where she moved to was eventually bought by the West Coast Avengers and transformed into their version of the Avengers compound. The other deep cut here is that Luke Ballard, the other actor that's named on this poster, is actually a person in real life. He's part of the Marvel Studios visual design team. People do that in movies and television shows all the time. Like if you need a giant list of names or you need names in the background of a big scene, sometimes there'll be comic book Easter eggs, sometimes there'll be the names of the crew members that actually worked on the series. And then they just end up the same joke of the scene about the trick arrows. Like, wait a minute, trick arrows? Trick arrows are just a big part of Matt Fraction's sense of humor during his Hawkeye run. He winds up using a bunch of the funnier Hawkeye trick arrows and during the scenes where he did use them, he called them out in really funny ways. He has used some of them in the Avengers movies, but they didn't really focus too much on them, just because usually the action was on something bigger in whatever scene Hawkeye was in. I got so many questions about the Loki arrow on my last Hawkeye video too. The Loki arrow is just from that first Avengers movie. That's what it's a reference to. It's just a reference to the delayed response arrow, like delayed explosion. Like Loki caught it thinking that he'd one-upped Hawkeye, but then it blew up in his face. But like they say, the first two episodes are dropping November 24th. We'll get a couple more trailers before that happens. And obviously the episodes will overlap with Spider-Man No Way Home. So there'll actually be a lot of really cool stuff happening in the next couple of months. What I'll probably wind up doing is just doing separate videos for episode one and episode two and posting both of those on that Wednesday premiere. If you spotted any other big Easter eggs during this that I didn't talk about during the video, just write them below in the comments. 
I've got a couple of the big trailer videos that I'm working on, so I'll try to post those as soon as possible. There was also a brand new What If Season 2 promo that Marvel just released, so I'll do a video for that with some cool Easter eggs and them revealing what they're doing with some of the Season 2 episodes. While you wait for everything, everyone click here for that brand new Spider-Man No Way Home preview of all the Sinister Six villains with a confirmed roster now. And click here to learn about that new Hulk movie that Marvel is making. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.